All right, Cybercats fans, welcome back. We have team number four that is uh, taking on team Cracked in the play versus round two playoffs. So a much more even matchup as far as records go. They've actually played some opponents um, <laughs> before, some of the same opponents, and ended up winning against those same opponents. So. It will be very interesting to see how this series plays out. Again, this is a best of seven series, and Cybercats with a good attempt there on offense, but it ends up being blocked by the lone goalkeeper. Uh, both teams already going for some good aerial attempts and a nice pass there by Team Cracked um, as they're able to take a quick 1-0 game lead. And perfect placement there as the player is able to clean that one up. And cracked with the kickoff, and they're almost able to sneak that one in, but just off the mark, uh, just to the side of the goalpost, and a nice aerial attempt off the backboard, and the Cybercats are there to clear that one up, but not much pressure on the offensive side. You can already see that they're playing a little bit more hesitant after giving up that first goal, and we'll see if they're able to tie this series up. A nice hit just to keep the ball under control on the left side. I'm sorry, the right side of the field. And a nice pass to the middle, but no Cybercats there. Two of them actually turning around. I'm wondering if one of them was unsure about which one should be going for the shot attempt. But regardless, the orange team is able to take this possession back to the Cybercats side of the field. And the Cybercats get a nice clear to the middle, but... The orange team is just keeping it in the corner, um, not giving the Cybercats many opportunities to hit the ball on net. And the Cybercats lose a 50-50 attempt. That shot attempt just too high, puts it safely into the corner of the field, and we'll see if Fish from the Cybercats is able to make anything of this. A decent pass attempt ends up missing on the shot and the last defender on the Cybercats was just too far up, not back to save this one. Cybercats down by two with three minutes remaining in the first game. And within 10 seconds, the Cybercats give up another goal, going down by three in game number one. I think the Cybercats have just been a little too hesitant on going for some of these aerial attempts. And because of that, the orange team is just getting to the ball first. And at the same time, they're just accurately hitting the ball towards the goal. Decent shot attempt by the Cybercats. Unable, unfortunately, to hit the ball with enough power towards the goal, so the defender is able to get back on time. And another shot attempt just wide by the Orange team. Nice attempt. And Orange team wins the 50-50 on the last defender. Still only one defender back. I'm wondering if the Cybercats are just trying to get too aggressive on offense and they're going for what looks to be pass attempts. They're losing the 50-50, and the ball... And the net is just wide open 4-0 for Team Orange. And Cybercats going up high for that one. That was just too close to the ceiling. You essentially have to be on the ceiling in order to get a good shot on that one. And then an awkward missed attempt that ended up or that would have ended up going back towards the own Cybercats net. But I'm liking that they're actually going for these aerial shots. Again, leaving the net wide open on that one. 5-0 for Team Orange. And 
and a nice attempt here by the Cybercats as they're able to push this one back towards Team Orange's side of the field. The Cybercats need to get a good hit here with someone on the offensive side able to hit the ball towards the net. They do miss that one as it took an awkward bounce on the side of the field. And then the goalie with a nice block just to clear the ball to buy them enough time. A good fake by the Cybercats that, oh, it just misses um, by about a foot there. It hits the goalpost. Cybercats just need to find some momentum. Even though they might not have enough time to tie this game up, they really just need to get a clear game plan, start working out what's going wrong over the communications, over the comms, and start to work on that as they head into game two. It's the only way that you're really going to be able to get some confidence and some momentum back, and we'll see if they're able to kind of regroup and come out with a better showing. Um, there is a 2v1 right here. If he's able to pass it, he is not too soft of a pass attempt. And Team Orange is able to just sneak that one in. Another good aerial. And they take a commanding six-point lead. Game number one. Cybercats commit two players on the kickoff there. They end up winning the kickoff, but Team Crack is able to just turn that one right around. A nice pass, a soft touch over the first defender. The second one commits too far up. The goalie is too far back, so he's not able to react quick enough to the shot. Just over the middle, 7-0, Team Crack. And after game number one of a bus best of seven, Team Cracked takes a 1-0 series lead heading into game number two. We'll see if the Cybercats are able to, like I said, regroup, come back for hopefully a better game two. Cybercats with the kickoff, but they're not cheating any players up. I kind of mentioned this if you watched the first matchup of the other Cybercats team earlier. If you're not going to cheat anyone up, um, it's very difficult to get a good shot attempt after the kickoff. Team Crack did cheat up a player, and we can see now that the Cybercats are playing defense kind of like they were at the end of the first game. A ceiling shot attempt that just misses. Uh, the player doesn't use a second jump there, so he's unable to hit it. And with a nice controlled fake attempt, Cybercats attempt to bring this one back upfield. They're unable to do so. And a nice aerial attempt off the backboard. Um, you can see that Team Cracked is starting to get a lot more confident as the game progresses. And keeping the ball up with a nice air dribble keeps it up long enough to get it over both Cybercats defenders. And the ball falls right in with a 1-0 Game 2 lead. And the Cybercats ended up losing the kickoff on that one. The second player on Team Crack was able to cheat up, but this is going to put the Cybercats in an interesting position. They end up winning the 50-50 in the air, but miss on the shot attempt. That gives Team Crack control of the ball gets it past the first defender that's actually looking like the last defender um, as all the Cybercats have not rotated back yet to the goal and Team Crack misses the open net goes up for a double tap off the wall and just barely misses it but they're able to keep possession from the corner all three Cybercats are on the corner which is not going to leave anyone in the goal to try and protect it and they end up letting a pinch fall in as you can see here and 2-0 to the orange team, Team Cracked. So 
So a nice aerial attempt here. The defender actually goes up, which is very interesting if you're last man, unless you're very confident that you're able to beat the offensive player first. They were able to do so. With zero boost and now a full boost, Cookies is going to take this back onto the orange side of the field, and they end up losing that one as a demo comes out in the corner. Just misses on the shot attempt, a good clear by Cookies, but Team Orange is still staying uh, pretty high in the air. They're pre-jumping in some cases to keep control of the high points of the field. This is going to take a generous bounce off the corner and both defenders end up missing. We'll see if Team Cracked is able to get this. They are not. Cybercats keep control with a nice clear to the corner. And there's just nobody there to get a second hit. I don't know if the Cybercats went back for boost or if they went back to goal, but the ball just stayed bouncing. Hits it over the last defender and we're gonna have an open net goal by Team Cracked. Cybercats down 3-0. A bump there in the corner, so Cookies is unable to get a clean hit off the ball and a potential pass to the middle and Team Orange just trying to keep control. They're continuing to hit multiple shots at the goal until one of them drops and in a lot of cases they have been. Cybercats on the other hand struggling to just get a good offensive possession um, and it looks like they may be able to turn that around as they're staying aggressive, but the demo is going to shift the momentum into Team Orange's favor. The double tap attempt off of the back wall is unable to fall. And two players up. Cybercats have an opportunity to turn this back in the correct direction. They're going to get a nice bounce off the back, but the first player jumps too soon for an aerial attempt instead of getting himself into a better position where he can get a shot on goal. And the orange team is going to take another shot at the goal. Cybercats were first there on that attempt. This is going to keep things going into the corner. This is going to take a bad bounce though for the Cybercats. They are able to keep control and push the ball into the opposite corner. They need to get a good hit here off the corner instead of setting the ball back to the middle of the field. And a pass attempt should be open here. It is not. Uh, Decent aerial deflection and a nice demo, which is going to buy them some time to get back into position. But again, the Cybercats player is just too far up. He's unable to react to the shot from the pass that bounces just over. And the orange team goes up 4-0 in game number two of a best of seven. Cybercats did cheat up there on the kickoff. They just were on the wrong side, which happens. Uh, but that's the right approach. That's exactly what you want to do so that you can get some more aggressive touches. And Team Cracked is quick to jump for the uh, for the block on the shot or the pass attempt. Nice aerial control to just keep the ball in the corner. Ends up falling just short in front of the goal. And the Cybercats may be able to put one on the board here. If they can get to it quickly, they are unable to. And as soon as this one hits the ground, that will be the end of game two. And the orange team, Team Crack, has a 2-0 series lead, heading into game number three. And heading into game number three here shortly, we're going to have the kickoff as soon as all players are ready. And the Cybercats win the kickoff on that one. I'm not sure if Team Orange ended up going for a fake or if they just missed that one, but nonetheless, 
the Cybercats here trying to take possession of the ball. They end up losing the 50 on the last defender that's going to leave the goal wide open for a very quick 13 second goal heading into game number three. Again, ends up losing the 50-50 and another Team Orange player is there and available to just roll that one in. 1-0, Team Cracked. And the Cybercats lose the kickoff on that one, but Cookies is there and available to get a nice clear on that. They end up putting it to the back corner of the field, and they should be able to get the next hit on this if they're the first one. They do, and that's going to leave a pass attempt with everybody on the field going up for that. Luckily, the orange team is unable to get a good hit at the net, as I believe that it was wide open. And as long as the Cybercats can keep, keep it here in the corner, they need to get a good clear and a nice bounce for them to turn this momentum. Um, they're unable to do so. They get a slow hit up for the aerial attempt and a shot, which ends up coming up short. And a nice pass. Team Cracked is able to pass that perfectly. And let's see if there is a pre-jump here. It... Oh, it ended up being the Cybercats player that passed that right in front of the goal, unfortunately. And that allowed Team Crack to uh, get a nice hit. if they can get an aerial attempt but again uh, the orange team is just too quick to get up for those aerial shots they're they're reading those shots very well and a nice block by the cybercats and a nice redirect as well which is going to awkwardly put this one towards the top of the stadium which gets hit to the back corner by Team Cracked and two defenders from the Cybercats go up again to block that. Luckily there were no orange players available to hit that one in as we watched the ball just bounce right past the net. And a good pop to the top but unable to get a third hit on that to be able to keep the ball in the air and a wide open net by Team Orange as they're just going to put that one right in for a 3-0 game lead. Cybercats with an opportunity here if they're able to get first to the ball they are not the defender was waiting and was able to hit that one to a clear position a nice pass off the backboard but the offensive player was unable to get a good hit towards the goal and this should give the Cybercats an opportunity to get a goal two defenders do go up for that one for a nice save but that's going to leave them grounded with not a lot of boost they are able to hit it though and get it out of bad position and just miss on the shot attempt. The third one does commit. He is able to hit it with no Cybercats able to save that. Just misses the save, unfortunately, and that gives Team Cracked a 4-0 game lead with two minutes remaining. Cybercats with an opportunity here to be able to take control of the offensive side of the field. None of them commit to that though as they wait to see what the orange team does. And because of that, we'll see if the Cybercats are able to shift this back in the other direction. They are not. And a nice double tap attempt and a nice save by the Cybercats. I think they were expecting a much harder hit at the goal and they were not as the orange team decided to go for a much slower approach for this fifth goal and it bounces right past two defenders. 5-0 team cracked.
and just misses on the shot attempt. That was a good opportunity with no defenders in net to be able to save that one, but they're just missing it. And we should be able to keep control here as we hit the ball off the corner, but no Cybercats are available to take a shot at the goal. Cybercat player does fall on the ball to be able to keep it on that side of the field, but Team Orange reacts properly to that bounce. They are going to hit this one off the backboard and go for a second shot attempt. Just a bit too high and a nice block by the Cybercats. These are the plays that they're going to need to make if they want to continue to compete after this game with only 30 seconds remaining. This one uh, doesn't look like there's going to be enough time for the Cybercats to make a comeback, but as I said at the end of game one, you should take advantage of this extra time that's remaining on the clock. Just try and figure out where we can improve and how we can try to make this series uh, a little bit more competitive as we head into game four. No defenders back and an open net there for team practice are able to put in their sixth goal. Goal number six of game number three. And game number three has ended. Again, this is a best of seven series, but the Cybercats are going to have to make a big comeback in order to uh, make this look a little bit more competitive. They have, I don't think, uh, I don't think we have scored a goal thus far, but we've had some promising opportunity. And I believe the Cybercats, uh, if maybe we just get one player in position after the passes, we can put up multiple goals and start making a comeback. Nice block attempt. Just keeping things on the sidewall here. That's not going to give them many shot opportunities. That is an awkward bounce though off the corner that probably should have been left for a different defender to hit. And a good flick attempt. They had the right idea there from Fish, but he was unable to get it over the orange team. And a shot attempt that ends up missing. They are committing the third player on the field without leaving a defender back, but the Cybercats are leaving all three players in net. So it's going to make it very difficult in order to turn the ball towards the other side of the field so they can get their own shot attempts. And with a miss there and another Cybercat waiting for full boost in the corner, a nice pass to the middle of the field. It is just going to be off the mark. And as long as the ball can stay here in the corner, Cybercats will have a decent attempt to turn this in the other direction and they do. Maybe too hard of a hit off the back wall there. A nice hit off the ceiling but I think it also confused the Cybercat player and they have a goalie that is already committing up to the middle of the field another ceiling shot attempt he is able to get back and rotate properly and the Cybercat should be able to push this one a nice first hit second hit just barely misses and I messed up the camera, so I gotta fix this. And while I was doing that, a nice bump by the orange team as they're able to open up the net by hitting the last defender out of the way from the Cybercats. 1-0 lead with just over three minutes remaining. Match point. And a nice demo, and you have to do that sometimes, especially if you can see that there's a shot attempt coming from the current position, uh, possession, I'm sorry, um, a, a nice defensive play sometimes is just to demo them, and they won't be able to hit it at all. And a flick over the Cybercats team, it gets over two defenders, um, and just barely gets over the goalie. 2-0 game lead. It 
They lose the kickoff on that one, but that should give the Cybercats possession. But two defenders miss the ball. They're going to go for a aerial attempt here and then end up just missing. And miss the backboard attempt too. Two players end up committing to that. Cybercats need to turn this one around, but they are unable to do so with the player backwards in an awkward position, unable to save that. And that gives the third player on the orange team a lot of space on the top portion of the goal. 3-0 Cybercats. Or, I'm sorry, 3-0 Orange Team, Team Crack. And another shot on net. And in the goal. Not a powerful enough hit and a bump on the outside uh, makes it so only one Cybercat is in position to try and save that one, but he was going backwards. Those are very difficult to save in those situations. And so another goal comes out for the orange team. A bump here and another goal, another quick goal here. The bump opened up that side of the field. The other Cybercat was left in an awkward position with not a lot of time to react and just comes up short, unable to make the save and a five goal lead. A good hit off the backboard. Another Cybercat player needs to be in position though to be able to receive those passes, especially with no other um, defenders on that side of the field. You have to be the first ones there in order to create some kind of offense of your own. And an aerial, or uh, an air dribble that ends up going just to the outside. Cybercats are in position now to take the offensive position. They are able to get it, but they weren't the first ones there, even though they were the closest. I don't know if that player did not have boost available to make it to the ball first. An uh, unfortunate backflip there, which happens. Um, a shot attempt from the aerial that falls just short. Nobody in position in the center of the net, but we are able to get to it first. We'll see with only 11 boost if Trill's able to hit that first towards the net. He does get a hit on it, but it doesn't go towards the center of the net, unfortunately. And we still have possession, and, uh, uh, but we lost it there. Two Cybercats players have bumped into each other. Two have now missed, and that leaves the goal wide open for Luke on the orange team to score goal number six. Nice pop in the air, just misses it. They would have been first to that if they were able to hit it towards the middle of the ball. Not a strong hit on that, and that's okay usually if the next player is going to be available to hit that, but no one committed to that after the pass attempt. And at this point, Cybercats with 20 seconds remaining have appeared to have just... Uh, they're, they're wanting the clock to wind down here to get this one over with. A very, very good season by the Cybercats team. A very good record. Uh, finished top 50 in the regular season. Unable to win this one as their playoffs have ended after round two. And congratulations to Team Cracked, as they will advance to round three. And for those of you watching, thank you so much. Unfortunately, Cybercats team number four is unable to advance to round number three, but a very, very good season nonetheless. Um, a very... <clears throat> Young team as far as playing in a uh, competitive scene together 
and we will be back in the spring better than ever. Thank you.